What's going on everyone, Brian here from Native Instruments. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to find and load your instruments and effects by Native Instruments inside of Logic. I have a blank Logic project open and I want to load my first instrument. Let's load one of the Play Series instruments, Cloud Supply. I'll first click on Software Instrument, click the drop down menu, go to AU Instruments, and Native Instruments. Don't worry if you don't see everything you installed from Native Access in this list. Some of the instruments you installed like Analog Dreams are contact instruments. Contact is a sampler and is used to run many NI instruments. If you haven't yet, make sure you install contact from Native Access as you won't be able to load some of the instruments without it. I'll select contact, stereo, and then click create. As you can see in contacts browser, these are all of the contact libraries I've installed from Native Access. The list on the right is currently showing me all of the presets across all of my contact instruments. You can either filter by type of sound, character, brand, or select an individual library in the browser below. Let's load the Play Series instrument Cloud Supply. I'll click on Cloud Supply, and now the preset list on the right is only showing me presets for this instrument. When clicking on any of the presets, we hear a preview of what it sounds like. Just double click and now the sound is loaded. If you want a different sound or instrument, click the library button, select a new instrument or preset, and just double click to load. For a more detailed overview of Contact, check out the How to Use Everything in Contact video link below. Let's load up Massive X. I'll go back into Logic and click the plus sign, Software Instrument, click the drop down, AU Instruments, Native Instruments, Massive X, Stereo, and click Create. Now that Massive X is loaded, we can hear some sound. If you want to change the preset, click the preset name at the top and you can select from a wide range of sound categories and then select another preset. Depending on what products you've purchased, there are also Massive X expansions which are additional packs of presets specifically for Massive X. Those you can find by clicking here and selecting the expansion you'd like. Also check out the how to use everything in Massive X to learn the ins and outs of this synth. Let's get some drums in here. I'll click the plus sign again, and this time in the drop down menu, I'll select battery. The browser on the left is where all of your battery kits are located. Double click on any of the kit names to load a drum kit into battery. If you want to manipulate sounds even more, this is where effects come in. One of my personal favorites to use for reverb is ROM. Let's click back on the Cloud Supply track. Directly below where it says Contact on the left, you see an empty slot labeled Audio Effects. This is where I can load my effects. I'll click this slot, go to AU Instruments, Native Instruments, and select ROM, and then Stereo. Even the default ROM setting sounds great. From here, you can tweak the knobs to customize how the effect sounds, or you can choose from a wide range of ROM presets. Click the preset name at the top, Factory Presets, select a reverb category like Creative, and select one of the presets.
After creating some music using your instruments and effects, you may want to master your track to get it sounding as loud and clean as possible. That's where Ozone comes in. On the Stereo Out channel, I'll click Audio Effects, go down to Audio Units, and then Isotope, Ozone, and finally Stereo. Select from a wide range of mastering presets for different cases like depth and clarity in all-purpose mastering or genre-specific chains. Or you can use Ozone's Master Assistant. Play back the loudest part of your track and Ozone will create a custom mastering chain specifically for your track. If you want to know more about Ozone and the mastering process, we also have a How to Use Everything in Ozone, which is linked below. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how to find your instruments and effects inside of Logic. For a more detailed overview of each individual instrument and effect, make sure you check out our product walkthrough tutorials. Thanks for watching.